Good evening. I am Bharat Kumar, Assistant Professor of Computer Science. In this video, I am going to tell you about how to become an Assistant Professor in universities and in the colleges in our country. Let's go ahead. Let us see some flow. Here, you see there is PG post graduation. If you have completed the post graduation, you need to appear for the SET or NET exam. If you have both of these, you will be eligible for this job. That is assistant professor job. We will see the eligibility here. In eligibility, we need to remember two, two things. One is, we need to have PG post graduation with 55% of marks. And second one is, we need to have either set or net qualification. What is set and net? We will see in the next video, next slide. Here we need to remember for SC and ST, 50 marks, percent, 50 percent of marks are enough in the post graduation. Another thing is, if you have a PhD, if you have completed the PhD, you don't need SET or NET. You are eligible with PG plus PhD. PG plus PhD again eligible for assistant professor. Let us see what is a NET exam and SET exam. In NET exam, we have two papers. I think you know that NET means National Eligibility Test, SET stands for State Eligibility Test. And both are having the same syllabus. Paper 1 contains 50 questions of general and paper 2 contains 100 questions of specific subject. Suppose if your subject is computer science, these 100 questions will be from your computer science subject. This is paper 1 is of general. So like aptitude, research aptitude and some reasoning questions, data interpretation, all this some, this is a very easy one preparing this one. Our focus should be this second or subject. If you get 50% of marks in this, suppose 75 marks if you get, you can easily qualify for NET or SET. SET is an exam which is in which we are eligible to apply only within the particular state. SET is an exam conducted by the particular university in the state, which is uh, the jurisdiction of this certificate is within the state. For NET, as it is mentioned, national, national means it is applicable for entire, entire country. You can apply for any state if you have the NET certificate. Who can eligible for applying the NET exam? If you have completed PG, you are eligible to appear for the NET exam. If you are studying PG and if you are final year also, you are eligible for National Eligibility Test. Now, this NET exam happens once in every six months. One, one then if it is in January, one and uh, another will be in June. There will be a six months gap between two net exam. You can appear any times. There is no limit. There is no age limit for national eligibility test or state eligibility test. And one important thing that um, you need to Remember is your post graduation subject. Suppose if your subject is 
MA history, you need to appear for NET exam in the history subject only. The NET exam sub subject and the post graduation PG subject should be same. See, if you read the salary slip, I am displaying my uh, salary slip. The name and the, some government will give some ID for each uh, employee. The period from 1 to 30, 30 days. And uh, here, the basic salary is 57,700. And uh, we have other parts in uh, salary dearness allowance and house rent allowance. In total, it is becoming around 88,000. After deducting income tax and other savings, it is coming around 75,000. Let's see the calculation. If the basic is 57,700, DA at, at present is 38%. So that is equal to 21,000. 926. HRA at HRA for cities it is 18%, for villages it is 9. It is becoming 10,386 rupees. The total salary is around 90,000 for the beginners. If you have selected recently, you will be receiving this 90. What are the strong points uh, to choose a career as a STEM professor? The workload is around 20 hours. 20 hours means 3 hours per day or sometimes 4 hours. Around only 20 hours we need to work for, for a week. And uh, basic Salary of IAS is how much? I think you know. 56,100. If you observe the STEM professor, it is more than the basic of IAS. What it means? The salary of a STEM professor is more than the IAS. You can help and encourage many young students in this teaching profession. And also, you will get the job after PG. It doesn't take long. There are two varieties here. One thing is, you can offer the university, you, uh, you can apply for college. If you are applying for university, you need to remember one thing is, it is not fully government. Universities are autonomous bodies. And colleges are fully government. For university, they take only interview for the recruitment. Sometimes you may need PhD also. Some universities don't allow for interview without PhD. For colleges, they conduct exam. Ex weightage of exam is 90% and interview is only of 10%. Interview has weightage only 10%. So, it is more transparent uh, in my opinion because uh, we are not depending much on the interview. Getting into university is I feel is difficult. College is depends upon your hard work. It is easy to get. If you have any questions you can write your questions as comments below. We will be answering those questions in a separate video.